just like I promised in part one of the video I will show you how to make the podium I will show you how that was done okay first of all you will need to know what to get okay so um, basically this is a triangular shaped box it's really a box you can open it just like so and maybe you use it to hide cash from relatives or what have you um, I know I would do that no I wouldn't no I wouldn't I didn't like that but um, basically it's a triangular box um, bought from Michaels most of these items most of these items that I have used to make the wheels such as like the triangular podium shape and a wedge and the little um, paper the little um, like paper wedges here that I made personally most of this stuff was made by me and was purchased at Michaels especially the acrylic paint that's you know if you plan on using paint I personally would choose acrylic because it dries much faster and it's good for you you know if you know if you're the type of person who is impatient um, you don't want to use oil you're gonna be waiting all week for that to dry and that's really annoying okay so I know I'm gonna be painting this particular podium bread but before that I have received a lot of questions. How in the hell do I make that podium? Is it possible? Ah! Well, I'm going to show you. Okay. First of all, the podium, the flipper itself. The flipper itself is basically a star piece that I've cut off from purchasing one of the star pieces at Michael's. You uh, purchase star piece and what you would do is you would take something circular shape something real small such as maybe a dime or a quarter what have you something that is circle this is the focus point right here of the star right here and basically what I've done was like you know just choosing the longest piece because it's a um, crazy shaped star that I purchased chosen the longest piece and put my dime or quarter what have you Took the circle, traced the circle to the focus point, then used my trusty scissors to cut it out, and surprise, surprise, got a beautiful teardrop shaped flipper ready for use. Now, um, rubber bands. Yes, you will need rubber bands. The ones that I have purchased, my mama has gone to the Beauty Mart and she have purchased some rubber bands from the Beauty Mart place and um basically I just asked if I could borrow some of her rubber bands and that's what I use for my podiums for my flipper so the flipper itself now let's get into that I'm gonna on purposely undo this thing here just to show you how it was done in fact I'm gonna take this whole thing out here um it's takeable out. I've taken it out. Now I'm going to take off the rubber band. I'm going to sit it right here. I'm going to take off the rubber band. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> One of the um, little two inch nails is drilled into this flipper here. Just for stars. Just to show you. You make a hole. Now here's the thing with these things. You want the hole to be big. You want the hole to be very big so it can wobble. See how it's wobbling and stuff like that? If it's not wobbling, then you're in trouble. I'll show you a better one. See how it's wobbling and all loose? That's good. Okay? You want that. Next, you're going to take the same nail, drill it to the bottom right here. This is where it's going. your flipper is going to sit. And you're going to drill a hole right there. You place your flipper right there in the center. Now, the tricky part, the rubber band. Make sure that the rubber band is open like this. Make sure it's open so you can wrap. What you're going to do is you're going to wrap the flipper, or should I say wrap the rubber band, like this. 
All right, let's fix that. All right. Wrap the rubber band like so. Okay. All right, sorry about that. You're gonna flip it. See this part right here? I'm gonna twist it and hook on to this part of the nail. You see, I have drilled another nail right here. Do you see it? There's another nail right here in which I drip, drilled it to the um, podium. And I put the other part, you see where my um, left thumb is? I put that part onto that nail like so. That's what holds it. That's what makes it spin. That's what makes it flip back and forth. Just like so. All right. Let's, you know, test it out again. You already seen it. But we're going to test it out again. If it works, then I know I've done something right here. So set the wheel back to how it was. Let's spin it. It works indeed. And boy, look at that. $2,000. I could tell it works. Well, that's basically my wheel idea. Um, that's basically how I do the flippers. Any more questions that you have, I will not hesitate to ask them. So keep the questions coming. God bless. I will see you next time.